Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Silence of the Sleep. Uh, we just got away from weird-looking monster, and now we're on an elevator. The hell was that? I don't understand. Where the hell am I? And that man speaking riddles, he, he just vanished before my eyes. I must be dreaming. None of this is happening. But what if I'm not? And what if the reason he was talking about... What was the reason he was talking about? I can't remember anything. Something must have happened before all this. I don't think I have a choice but to play along. Though the road ain't pretty, I must prepare myself. I cannot know what awaits me. Huh? Is that... music? What the hell is going on? Do, 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 do. Okay, I think this is where I jump off. Oh, awesome. That cool ass, what the hell? What is this place? It's an awesome party? That's what this is. Right, is that a door? Yes, it is. Oh, that's not terrifying. Is that the bartender? Who is that guy? Hello! Good evening. Sorry, can I get past to that room? Absolutely not! I can't let anyone in. Why? What's inside? Well, it is... Um... I guess I could tell you. There's something valuable in that room. But I... Forgot something inside. Good try! Sorry! Oh. That was wonderful. Can I talk to you people? No. Oh. Hello, question mark man. Hey. Hmm. Ahem. Was it seven? No. Oh, sorry, pal. I was just so deep in my thoughts. Ah, you uh, lost something? Sorta, of, yeah. Can't remember the code for that safe. Ah, that happens. Yeah, but it's been four days already. I really, really need to get it open. You've spent four days with it? Yes. Something really valuable for me inside. Can I help somehow? Yes, yes. I hid the code somewhere in here but I just can't remember where. Okay, I'll start looking. Damn. How did I forget that code? Um. It's a painting. I don't think I need that, but I want to know what... Are those ducks? Two, four, six, seven? There's, there's seven ducks. How, how many numbers we got in the code? We got three numbers. So the, the, he said the code is in here, right? Um, did that do something? Did I turn off my flashlight? One, two, three, four, five, six rays of light, and the seven flying ducks. Come on, we can. I can figure this out. I can totally figure this out. All right, because he said the code was in here. Just junk. Just junk.
Seven. No, not the code. All right, so we go six, seven, two? No. I think it's got to have something to do with the ducks and the light switch. Uh, try and figure that out later. See what else is going on. Hi, Guitar Man with sparkly shirt. Hello, Mr. Reeves. Hello. Hey, wait, how do you know my name? Not feeling too well today, Jacob. I can't say I am. Who the hell are you? You don't recognize me. No. I have no memories of life before all this. You understand you are traumatized, yes. I... Really, who are you? Jacob, I am your psychologist. Ha, huh, I had... Have a shrink? Why? You must understand, Jacob. Healing can only begin after acceptance. But I can't give you that, Jacob. You must take this journey. So much lies buried beneath. More than you could ever imagine. What is this? Am I... insane? No, Jacob. You are far from insane. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. I understand what it must feel like, but listen. Don't trust these people. They are ghosts. Mere lies. So then why should I trust you? I sense you are not here to stay. Am I right, Jacob? Yeah, you got that right. But I need to make some sense in all this. That is a good thing, Jacob. It is the only way to heal your scars. I have kept this for you, Jacob. You will need this once you are ready to leave. You got a piece of a riddle. What? Thanks, I suppose. I wish I could help you more on your journey. Who knows? Perhaps at some, time, at some point I can again offer my assistance. I... I don't even fucking... When rain keeps falling and w wind blowing, with her cold hand rocks the cradle of a child, preparing a new journey to the coming road of unknown. Yep, sounds legit. Okay, weird guy. Bye. Yeah, this is this is reminding me a lot of the cat lady. Uh, back the other way, I guess. Hi, party. What do I gotta say about the musicians? Nothing. Oh, it's a redhead. Hey. <laughs> Hello! What is this place? Ah, a new face! You're in Moonlight Motel. Huh. Doesn't look like a motel to me anymore. Who are you and all these people? My name is Alice, and these people, well, it wouldn't make any sense for me to list names, right? Good point. Still trying to figure out where the hell I am. Oh, you're not alone there. It's like an endless loop. Loop? What do you mean? We have been stuck in here for an eternity already. Or so it feels. But this place is not too shabby when you make the decision to stay. Huh. Don't you want to leave? Well, some of us tried to leave once, but the only way out is through the riddle. So we worked together to try and solve the riddle, but there were too many of us. People turned against each other. And we decided to bury it all and try to get along. Things are better now. Sorry, i not sure I follow. Ah, silly me. Let me explain. When we first arrived, a man with a red tie and a pale face appeared. He said that we were his guests and we could stay as long as we wanted. However, he also told us that we were all free to leave, but not without consequences. Consequences? Uh, uh, what do you mean, tried to leave? Ah, the riddle. At first, we liked it here. 
But after some time, days began to feel the same. The conversations with the same people, nothing ever changed. Uh, that's when our frustration started to show. At the time, it felt like our last effort together. We decided to solve the riddle. This place was slowly driving us mad. But it was too late for that. The scar was already there, and we were too stubborn to forget. It felt like a miracle that we were all still in good terms. It still does. Besides, I'm not sure any of us really wanted to leave for the unknown. Why? We don't know what is beyond. It feels safe in here. And that riddle? I think it would have been too hard to solve. To my understanding, the meaning of it is more symbolic than anything. Quite a story. So you don't happen to have anything related to that riddle. Actually, I do have something. You got something strange. Not sure why you need it, but here, take it. Thank you. My name's Jacob, by the way. It was nice chatting. I have to be going now. Goodbye, Jacob. What are you people doing? Can't talk to you. Men's room is out of order, but the ladies' room. Okay. Looks like a rail for something. Oh, do I put the rings on this? Yes. No, I don't want to put it there. All right, so that one goes on the bottom. Which one goes on the bottom? None of them go on the bottom. What? Okay, so it obviously goes with this, but they go in different spots. If I put it on... Eh. Put it here? Why do you only go on the bottom? Yeah, I want to remove the piece. I want to stick you over on this one. Oh, God damn it, I gotta highlight it again. Yes. So I'll stick you over there, because that one has the one on the side, and maybe I can rotate these at some point? Uh, okay, there's more over here. What do you got for me? Oh. Nothing. <laughs> Psst. Hey, you. Come over here. Sorry, I called you like that. That's okay. Well, what did you have in mind? See. Have you noticed that red-haired lady hanging around in the lounge? Yeah, I like redheads. Yeah, I noticed her. Why? Well, it's a bit awkward. I'll call me again if you can spill it out. I love her. No, she's mine. Gulp. I've been wanting to talk to her, but I don't know how. You look like a man who knows his way around women. I don't consider myself a ladies' man, but what did you have in mind? Excellent. I want you to get me a date with her. Now, before you refuse to listen up, I have something. You will need it if you are ever going to leave this motel. Huh? What? Why don't you just use it and leave? Well, this piece alone is not enough. Besides, there is this lovely lady. Fair enough. You mentioned I will need more than just one piece to get out. What was that all about? Well, this motel is some kind of riddle. You need to collect all the pieces and solve the riddle. I'm not sure, though. The man with the red tie told us this. He said we needed all the pieces if we ever wanted to leave this place. He added that we could stay as his guests, but also mentioned a twisted darkness that would befall us if we were to leave. Darkness? It's a riddle? And there is no other way out. I'm afraid not. This is the only way. We once tried to solve the riddle with the residents of this motel. 
that did not end well. Huh. I don't get it. That man obviously does not want us to leave. Why give us a chance? Yes, I have been thinking about that. I think it is our damnation. While there is hope, we push through, fighting the pain only to deceive ourselves. But without hope, what is left? Only pain and despair. All right, let's cut to the chase. What do you want me to do? I have written a letter to her, but there is something I want to include. I'm listening. A red rose. Classic. Where can I find one? That is the thing. I swear I saw a rose somewhere. You just need to look around. Okay, well, I'll get back to you once I found it. Thank you so much. Please do not tell the red-haired woman any of this. She has a name. Her name is Alice. She is a lovely young woman. It's a fountain. <laughs> okay. So I got weirdo dude over there. Starting to get pieces to the puzzle. Oh, I can go... What? Turn it to the right? And... Oh, wait. Is there something in the toilet? No. Okay. I turned it to the right. How did that move the lady's robe? Oh, this is going to be annoying as hell. This is... Okay. Yes, I would like to remove the piece. I will hold on to it for now. But yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh, move them all around. So that one's going to have to go there and go one, two, three. Okay, that's actually not that bad. One... First one, we're going to turn it three times to get it up there. But after the first one, we put the one on here. And then after that gets turned once, then the other one goes on in the middle over here. Okay, so, okay, that's not too bad of a freaking puzzle. It's just annoying because it's going to be a lot of running back and forth, placing them down. Gotta find a rose. Gotta find a rose. Or figure out the other guy's stupid safe combination. The, the bartender? Who is that guy? He's a dick. Um, hello. Oh, same. Something valuable. Ah, okay. Seven, six... Do you have anything more to say? Hello, Jacob. How are you? Jacob, my presence here is trivial. Oh, you have something different to say. I'm more of a spectator, even though I'm here to help you. You must focus. Be determined and hold on to your sanity. Uh, it's also messed up. I, I don't know what to believe. I understand, Jacob. But what I don't understand is, how could you have known about Gerald and Brad? I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Hmm. <laughs> Never mind it, then. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Stay strong, Jacob. You are a weird, weird man. Right, nothing there, so... Have to figure out... What the hell the answer to this is? Had to cut somewhere, but I just can't remember where. Okay, I'll start looking. Damn it, how did I forget that code? Painting, don't think I need that. Painting, don't think I need that. Just junk, nothing of use. Can I rave? Will that help? The light switch wouldn't be here if it didn't do something. 
If it didn't help me do something, it wouldn't be here. The hell does it help me do? It's the only room with a light switch. It is obviously here for a reason. <sighs> Alright, you know what? We're out of time for this one, so we will figure this out in the next episode. See, catch you guys next time.